What's up guys, Xavier the Hedgehog here, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys where to get Sonic models and how to how to go ahead and animate them in Blender. Later today I might go ahead and show some unused animations that I had done as well. Like like just some animations that I had done previously that I never finished. But, um, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to open up our, open up our soft, uh, our software. I don't, I don't care what the frick to call it. Alright, so we're gonna go to modelsresource.com. Okay, so we're gonna search for models and games right here. We're just gonna type in Sonic. Or in my case, I already had it typed in Sonic the Hedgehog. Now this place has a lot of models. Seriously, it's freaking crazy how many how how uh, many this place has. So you got like all of you got like a lot of these, just like Sonic and sometimes not even Sonic picture uh, models. So. Some of these are rigged, well a lot of them are rigged, but some of them aren't. But what you want to do is you want to find a rigged model and make sure that it is rigged. Because if you do not, you will, have, you will have to rig it yourself and sometimes that might be a massive pain in the ass. So uh, I would go ahead and get one of these, but I already have a model I need. I'm just going to go ahead and gonna close this out. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a program called Blender. Now, this is where you want to rate the models and stuff. But you want to make sure that the models are SMD, are in a SMD format. Either SMD or FBX or, uh, or .DAE. Those work too. So I always have my Blender set up like this. And just hit this go to properties right click and right click here cross from where it says scene and go to horizontal okay right. and so what I also like to do like this is just the way that I that I've uh, been taught how to use blender and split the area there you go I got two angles you can use I typically go with a um, like a left a left or right view here and a frontal view Sorry, my wireless mouse is acting really, really weird today. And a frontal view here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to import. Or, well, actually, first of all, let's press X and delete that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to import. And which, under whatever, uh, under whatever, f under whatever type of thing that you have for it. That's what you'll use, but what well, I'm, but um, I don't have the Blender Source tools, so I will be back once I get them. Okay, and I'm back. So, like I was saying, let's go down to File, and we're gonna go ahead and go to Import. We're gonna go to whatever one that we have here. So, but for me, it's gonna be Source Engine. So, we're gonna go to. Uh, the directory where you have stored your model. And so for this case, we're going to use a uh, we're going to use a modern Sonic mile uh, mile <laughs> modern Sonic file. <laughs> okay, there we go. So Sonic, this case is .smd. No, it's not suck my dong. <laughs> Though that would be pretty hilarious. I'll give you that. Okay, so with the Generations models, if I remember correctly, they have these weird things with their mouths. Oh, well, not this one. I must have already set the mouth, but... So yeah, but as you can see, like, this thing tends to have weird crap going on with its skeleton. So, which one, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and match the skeleton up... Well, we're going to match the mesh up to the skeleton. I'm just going to go ahead and scale them down like so we're just gonna see if it works freaking mouse come on down boy 
<laughs> okay, so... Alrighty... Yeah, I just about got it maybe a little bit bigger. Not by too much. There. But the best way to do this is to go into orthographic view because it'll show you exactly how it is. So I need to move it downward. Yep, and I just about got it. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna move back to perspective. So, why does Sonic look like this? Well, that's because we are in solid mode. If we go to material, it looks a bit it looks a bit better, you know, it's shaded and stuff. But he still looks weird. Okay. So what we do is we go into this check, and we go into this uh, sphere mode, and so you see like all these different bitmaps and stuff like that. So what we, those are his textures. Just, so you really gotta remember what textures are there. So what you gotta do is you gotta head to the checkerboard, new, open. This is if you're this is if you're having problems with texturing. This is only if you have problems with texturing. You you can pretty much skip this step if you do not have any problems. But for those of us who do, you just head back to the directory that it was, and in my case, images. So you want to make sure that it's diffuse, because that is how it does. Because that is the uh, the main texture that you always see. So let's just make sure that we bring this down so we can actually see what that light looks like. Looks a little creepy with those eyes closed like that. All right, so. If you don't really, if you don't really care for all the shading and you just want to see the whole thing how it is, go to Hemi. That and then if you place it anywhere, it will, it will just remain the same. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let's click, let's right click back on the mesh, make sure it's selected. So we just, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna kind of um, just fast forward doing all this. Okay, and there we go. We're all finished, and now Sonic looks how he's supposed to. Now, what do we do from here? How do we how do we move his joints and stuff? Easy. See these? Oh my. Okay, so first you want to go into pose mode. Just make sure you got it all right. So, <laughs> can't believe I'm gonna say this. You see these balls? Touch them and move them. Seriously. So, but if so if you're trying to do if you're trying to do this if you're trying to like move more than one up at the same time what you do is you hold shift and right click another one that's how you move more than one of them at once so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get his entire his entire uh, eyelid up up damn it this is gonna take a little bit isn't it I didn't click the low one though. Damn it! I didn't click the low one! Do you see how tricky these things can be sometimes? That, oh, well, it helps to zoom in. Just like get the one that you're supposed to get to. There we go. So we're gonna move up. Just make sure we get the right one. Okay, I freaking go ahead. I'll just move that lower one back. I'll just move that lower one back down. There we go. That's pretty much done, but it looks freaking weird. First of all, let's move this low one down. No, no, there we are. There. Let's just make sure that I have everything. So, I lit up to. Wait, what? I'm getting slightly confused with all this. <laughs> but. So, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. But. Another thing that you might want to, as you might want to know, is how you actually like get an animation going. You see these numbers down here? 
this is your keyframe. Like, this is what frame you're on. So, by pressing the, um, pressing the arrow keys, that is where you get your, um, things from. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pause, get Sonic in a, get Sonic to look like he's kind of running, and then I'll, then I'll get back. Oh yeah, and another thing, just wanting to let you guys know, if you want to rotate the joints, like try and move them like this, or... Let me move it this way, like this. You click the second one of these three, uh, these one of these three uh, translation keys. No, transforming keys. There we are. So this is how you like rotate and stuff. This will be very important, and I mean very important. Anyway, like I said, I will see you guys when I have them in, in the uh, running animation. There we are. And I'm back. There is the running animation I've chosen. Well, actually, I could move him down a bit more. Then move his one leg up more. There we are. It looks a bit better. Anyway, so, how do we go ahead and move everything and then have it work? Here you go. This is all involving the I key. So, we're just gonna... We're gonna go ahead and we are gonna just make sure we have the whole thing selected using object mode. Go to I and go to lock rot scale. And so then what we do is we move it up and we, we move the uh, keyframes a couple. I'm gonna go with seven. So we're gonna go back to pose mode. We're gonna move just one object. And there we go. We're gonna hit lock rot scale again. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. Just make sure that this is like this. Like rot scale. There we go. That is how you do it. And that's pretty much what you need to know. I mean, there's not really much else that I can show you. So... I just want to thank you all for watching. This has been Xavier the Hedgehog with a tutorial on where to get Sonic, as want to get Sonic models and how to animate them. And I will actually I will go ahead and do. I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, the animations video probably after this or right before it. Anyway, I will see you guys later. I would like to uh, thank you guys for watching. And I am Xavier the Hedgehog signing out, and I will show you what the animation looks like at the end. See you later.